All right, everyone. So I'm in my house right now. It is, I don't know, 1 a.m. Uh, obviously, we got Franklin there. We got all of this. We're doing um, a change up of the build. If you saw my last video, sorry for the awful thumbnail as well. I will use something better as a thumbnail for next time. Uh, got my stuff, got my REI pack right here. Got my boots, of course, not leather. I uh, got the Spirit of St. Louis right here. I got that from a friend in college. Uh, I got a strap on the wall for some reason. Uh, I got all my podcast equipment there. And of course, at the pod track by Zoom. Uh, I got some nice headphones right there. Watching Nicole Raffi on YouTube. Got some other YouTube videos queued up. Go ahead and check out what I was watching. There you go. Got a bottle from camp. You know, we love the space race. Uh, I got a watch right there. Got a nice keyboard I got off Amazon. Those are some tapestries on the wall of my room. A monitor. Basically, what we're going to do today is... You're gonna come along with me and we're gonna go cook something. Let's go. There is the rebuild. We'll change it up later. Uh, Let's keep moving. There we go. We're thawing some tofu. We'll get everything set up and I'll see you guys in one moment. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the kitchen. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about neoliberalism, why I'm not in my car. And uh, yeah, this is a block of tofu. Let's get it started. This has been frozen and drained. I'm not even gonna tell you what we're making because you're gonna follow along. Okay, how you folks been? Everything's good? We're just gonna slice it down the long edge of the tofu, right there. See that? See that? Just slice it right down. And then I like to make my tofu into triangles. So just Slice it down the middle, diagonally like so, and go ahead and do that on both sides. So we're just going to do that. Yeah, so what is neoliberalism? Because I had a comment that said, oh, they're here for the car videos, and I appreciate that, but not the liberal politics. Now, keep in mind, your boy is not a liberal by any means. Not at all. Right? You see, because liberals can function in capitalism, right? That's what we call neoliberalism. It's uh, capitalism with liberal policies attached to it. New liberal. Not liberal in the sense of libertarian, but social policies attached to a post-secondary, right? Let's say, let's say our second wave of capitalism is right after the Industrial Revolution then we'll call this new liberalism the attachment of social policies. This goes to places that you have people on the right calling conservative countries. So let's say the United States is more conservative than Canada. That does not mean Canada is a socialist utopia or dystopia, some might think. No, Canada is also neoliberal. Denmark, neoliberal. These are capitalist societies that have social policies showing that you, in fact, can exist as a capitalist nation and still not treat your people like absolute dirts. Nonetheless, let's keep slicing. So you might wonder, so if it's possible, then what's the problem with that? The problem is not with the possibility. The problem is with its efficacy and how it is administered, right? That is the key issue here. I'm gonna put the tofu back into this because I neglected to add baking powder to that because we gotta get that puffy. Also, this whole wheat flour, we gotta get that puffy. But 
with these neoliberal policies, we slowly move towards more and more government influence to control the market. And then you have people that say, hey, just let the market decide. Trickle down economics. Atlas Shrugs, right? Ayn Rand, if you're a Randian, um, please don't be in my comments. If you're a Randian, this video is not for you. Uh, but yeah, let's say we let the market decide, okay? Well, the 70s and the 80s, we had market booms, right? Uh, there was no greater time to not be the middle class because we had the wealth redistributed to the top 2% of America. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not in the top 2%. Thus, uh, that's why I have the summer in my car because, you know, we can't all be wealthy. And here's the thing with market and market theorists. You can say, well, in fact, we can all be wealthy. But if I gave everyone, and you hear these economics bros say this all the time, people ask, why can't we just print more money? And they say, because of inflation. I say the same thing about being wealthy. Why can't we all be billionaires? Not saying there's not enough money to go around, but if we all are, if everybody can afford a jet, then the, then the highest making billionaire will want a spaceship. And you say, but that's not true. I say, look at two billionaires right now. Who we got? Who we got at the top? Huh, what does he do? He has a space program. Look, I don't hate Elon Musk. I'm just telling the truth. If I can get a plane, somebody else will want a jet. If I can get a jet, they'll want a spaceship. If I get a spaceship next, and everybody else can get a spaceship, they want a planet. I get a planet, they have a whole solar system. Eventually, it just goes too far. There aren't enough resources to pass around with the scarcity mentality. Let's mix up the sauce. Just got finished cutting up some red onions. So we got here, we're going to use half a capful of rice wine vinegar. Just put that there, just like that. Very strong smell, very strong smell. We got here, turmeric, anti-inflammatory. You know, but if you want to learn more about this, I recommend you go head over to an actual commentary channel and not a channel of a guy who drives around in his car, who has a degree in this uh, because you would prefer to, for me just to talk about cars, right? I am a person. I do have views. You may not agree with me. You can like me for my car videos and dislike me for my other videos. That's fine. I have no problem with this. But just like I can't separate the artist from their views, you should not separate my car videos from my views. Because no, every time I'm driving up to the mountain in North Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, when I'm in Appalachia and I see people who uh, don't share my same uh, tone, well, you can rest assured that I'm always worried. I'm always worried. This is cumin. This is chili sauce with garlic added to it because I didn't have enough garlic today. This is pure cane sugar. We'll be adding a little bit of it. I usually don't like using pasta sugar, but I say, hey, what the heck, right? What the heck? Yeah, but if you guys would like to learn more about neoliberalism, I highly recommend Mia Mulder, uh, Christina Mayoni, uh, both from the fifth column. Uh, also, rest in peace, Laoshi. He He recently died. And uh, yeah, I used to watch his videos all the time. He's a big inspiration for me uh, with his Level Up videos. If you guys would like to see more videos of me speaking other languages, je parle français que romande, um, io parlo italiano, uh, je parlo espagnol, uh, a few other languages as well. Uh, so just let me know. And right now, I'm just taking out these Simple Truth roasted cashews because I have to wash them because they're salty and I don't want high blood pressure. So yeah, uh, but anywho, let's keep this cooking. I'm gonna speed this video up a bit and uh, I'll see you guys when it's done.
Uh, I'm gonna slow it back down a bit to let you know this guy's is MSG. Let's just add a little bit of MSG because what is life without MSG? It won't cause headaches. Don't worry, they've done studies on it. Alrighty everyone, so we've got all the tofu covered in that light whole wheat flour, baking powder, Mrs. Dash, some berbere I picked up at the Ethiopian shop in Atlanta, Georgia, and some cumin. There's no turmeric in this because I don't want to turn the oil yellow, but I'll show you guys exactly how I'm about to do this. So it's quite simple. I'm going to turn off the camera as soon as I drop in a few of them and catch back up with you guys in a second. But I'm just gonna drop it in like so, and it's gonna start steeping. Talk to you guys in a second.
So guys, real quick, always remember, wash your rice before you cook it. Wash your rice before you cook it. That's all I gotta say about this.
so guys, this is it. This is it. Don't know what it tastes like. I never write down the recipes for my sauces. It's just mixed up. You saw everything that went into it. Green onions, onions, the little bit of garlic I had left over, some sambal chili, tofu, breaded it with the whole wheat flour, baking powder, and that's it. Obviously, there's other stuff in there as well. I don't know. Did you guys like this video? Let me know. I just hit my tripod. Way too big of a tripod for a phone. But nonetheless, that's because I do photography. I'll show you guys some of that as well. Hey, stay curious. This isn't SciShow. Uh, I don't know. Keep, keep on keeping on, people. Keep on keeping on. Anywho, Franklin and I have to eat. We'll talk to you later. So I was getting those car repairs today. So I'll just go ahead and show you how easy this is to take out. I've already taken out my pad, but I'll show you that. So this simply is stuck there with friction. You just lift it up, drop it out. This little fan blower can take it out as well. This piece of wood that I use as a cutting board slash table just pulls out like so. You detach this from there, which keeps it from slamming forward and killing me in the event of a crash. And then you push this forward a little bit. Ah. After pulling the seat up a tad bit. Thus allowing me to push this forward and pulling it up like so, right? And then the rest is history. Hello folks, here we are. We showed up to Milton Park in Alpharetta, Georgia. We're here to record one of our podcasts. My co-host Kate is currently not here, but she parked right there. She does not live in her car sometimes. Um, however, we're recording for Legacies Lost. We're gonna set up the field recorder and start walking, talking about extinct species and uh, I'll catch you guys in a second.